REDCap, you can build in general two types of projects. One, they kind of call it the classic project. So that's where forms are used only once throughout the time the participants participates in your study. So like in this example, you fill out the demographics form once, the baseline data form once, uh, the monthly data collection once, and so on and so forth. The other uh, general type, it's the longitudinal. So that's when there are multiple visits, forms are collected multiple points in time points, for, uh, like every six months, every 45 days and so on and so forth. So as you can see here, for example, like the patient morale questionnaire, that's collected every uh, time point. So, uh, bef so that's just the brief description of the type of projects that you can create in REDCap. I'm going to jump into a, a quick demo of how to set up these projects. So uh, here you can see a, a typical uh, interface of REDCap. So with what at by default, when you start a project in REDCap, it's already in the classic um, classic format. So that's when forms are there's one copy of each form. So in here, a very basic project, a demographics, a lab, and a completion data form, three forms. So for log to set up a longitudinal study when you have to collect uh, data f at multiple time points with the same form so that you don't have to recreate the form multiple times, you first enable the longitudinal data collection with define events at the very first step on the project setup screen. Then you go to the third step here, define my events. So events is basically like visits, um, whether it's uh, when we could do this again, like uh, visits at the clinic or if there's a scheduled phone call um, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to quickly create two additional events, just for example. Then you designate it. So basically you assign the forms you required for those visits. So here you can see by default, the first form is in the first event. That's actually highly encouraged and recommended. The first form of your project should always be in the first event because that's where the record is created. And logically from the platform's point of view, it just makes sense for it to be in the first visit. So let's say you collect data at two other time points and the completion at the last visit. And as a quick tip for a longitudinal study, I've seen where researchers have enabled a longitudinal study, but I've also seen that their forms are never reused. So each form that they have in their projects are only used once. And in those cases, even though um, methodology-wise it is a longitudinal study, I would recommend to stick with the classics uh, projects uh, format where it's a list of forms that are only completed once. This makes the data a little bit more straightforward where all your data are on, all in one row because something to note is that with longitudinal studies, uh, each event has their own row in the exports. 